I like it, I like it, I really, really like it. I like it, I like it, I really, really like it. I like it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Aida. I'm pleased to meet you. And if you're an OG, thank you so much for coming back for another video. So in this video, it's going to be a very quick one. I'm not going to waste your time. I don't want to take so much of your time. So in this video, I'm going to be trying two new products that I picked. One of those products I'm going to be talking about is this primer and this is the Milk Cosmetic Hydro Grip Primer. This one right here. And this is from the brand Milk cosmetics i've heard so much about this primer like seriously this is one of those primers that really allows your makeup to last a long time like it lasts all day and it's supposed to be one of those it's supposed to be one of one of those primers that gives you that airbrush effect that doesn't allow your makeup look cakey or look as if you know you put something on like look at my face it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look like oh um you know you could obviously yes i do have a makeup but then it looks it, it blends well into my skin like it doesn't just look like okay there is something sitting on top of my skin so this is a very very good primer i use this on sunday i used it before because i wanted to come and give you guys an honest review or an honest truth about it you know i don't just want to come and tell you okay this is what people say without trying it so i tried it before i had my makeup from about six o'clock in the morning to about 12 midnight i was so busy on sunday like i barely sat down on sunday like seriously so my makeup lasted all day like seriously now there's some primers that you use after maybe six to seven hours you feel like see, your makeup is separating or something but this hey it grabs on that foundation see foundation don't remove it says see i'm not letting you go to you bless me that's the kind of that's how this thing is like it grabs on that foundation the foundation stays one place it doesn't move at all no shaking no moving no distribution like seriously i really do like this this um this primer I like the fact that it's moisturizing and it has no smell to it so if you're one of those who are allergic to strong smells then you don't have to bother about this and i also like the fact that it's like it has a little thick um, consistency to it it's not it doesn't apply tacky or something but then you can feel like some it applies smoothly on your skin and makes your skin feel it makes you feel um your skin feel really really nice like i really do like it like you could really oh my goodness it feels so 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 nice it feels so good the way it applies so beautifully it's a little bit on the pricey side but definitely you're going to um when you use this product you know exactly what i'm talking about like you could see the difference between this and other primers that you have used before so if you've tried this before um let me know what your thoughts are is it um is it true to what it says but to me i really do feel like or oh, i've experienced it or i've used it before and i know exactly what i'm talking about it's a very very good primer it allows your makeup last a very long time it grabs on the foundation and your concealer and it does not shake it does not move like seriously this is a very good primer so one other thing i'm going to use in this video and this is the juno sponge i've heard so much about the sponge so apparently this sponge is made from some microfibers so the microfibers actually allows your makeup to stay just on the sponge like it does not absorb your foundation it does not absorb your concealer which is really really nice because most of the time the sponges that we use like the real technique sponge that i use most of the time the sponge grabs almost half of my foundation almost half of my concealer i'm putting foundation i have to add it because the sponge don't collect everything you know what i mean but this it stays just on the sponge so it does not absorb the concealer or the foundation or whatever product you're using so this is a very very nice sponge i like the fact that it has this flat edge which you can easily you know blend underneath your eyes and it also has the flat bottom for you to apply your foundation so and like if you can even see like i've used it in this video like you could all you could really see the true color of the sponge peeping through the foundation and the concealer you could see some dots in there that's the when i dotted um the foundation on my face you know like it does not it does not it does not grab on that it does not absorb the product which is really nice so that means that we are not wasting out our product and i know that foundation is expensive and concealer is expensive so you want to economize as much as possible so this this is a very very good sponge the only thing the only thing i'll say 
I didn't really like so much about it. It's just that it's not too soft because I'm used to using, you know, the Wig Technique blending, um, blending sponge, which is very, very soft, but this is not as soft. But then I can go, hey, and it doesn't have to be soft. Even if you had like stone, so far as I have economized my product, that's fine. I will use it. So I really do like this sponge. You're going to see me use this sponge every blessed day. And washing it is very easy because the product is just on the surface of it. It doesn't absorb. It's not right inside. So you don't have to finish your soap on top of this thing to wash. So um, I really do like this, um, these two, this, these two items. Like, um, seriously. If you've tried it before, let me know what your thoughts are by leaving me a comment in the comment section. If you do not like it, let me know what you do not like about it and, you know, some, something about that. So, let's jump right into this video and uh, let me show you guys how I did use it. If you're not part of this family yet, if you're not part of IG Transformation, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit on that subscription button, guys. Hit on the subscription button. It should be on your right-hand side, you know. And do not forget to turn on the bell button so that when I'm when I upload you will be notified I don't want to be bugging your phone with all these videos and things like that if you turn on the bell button you'll be notified when I upload so thank you so much for all your support I do really appreciate each and every one of you let me stop rambling and let's jump right into those products and see how they apply and how they work stay tuned I'll talk to you guys within the video so I just took two pumps in my hand just like this it's clear just as you see in the picture and I rub it in between my fingers and I just apply it on my face. And um, according to the instructions, you're supposed to allow it for at least one minute just so that it activates the grip process. So this is supposed to allow, this is supposed to hug on your foundation, which is a good thing. So I'm just going to allow that to, you know, soak deep into my skin just so that it activates whatever it has to activate so that it can work perfectly it does really feel moisturizing though it feels moisturizing i like the texture i like the way it feels on my skin so for this for, for this video we're going to use this um it's belong i use this foundation i know this is the maybelline super stay full coverage foundation i am in the shade 334 mm, i forgot how i just like this foundation and it blends out the product really, really nice and evenly. So it's really true to the airbrush effect that it states on the packaging. This foundation is a very, very full coverage foundation. So if you're looking for a full coverage foundation that is inexpensive, you can definitely try this. You can get this from um, Walmart. You can get it from Target. You can get it from any drugstore. The product is just on the, you can even see, see the sponge, this, the color of the sponge picking through. So that means the sponge is not picking, it's not absorbing the color. It's really, really that beautiful. It's really nice. So if you're one of those people who like to use sponges to, um, to blend out your makeup, this will be a good one for you because that means you're not wasting out your product. So this basically helps you to, you know, to save your money. You save your money on your product so you're not wasting your product on a sponge now let's see how this is going to blend this concealer hmm. wow this is so beautiful you know this is so nice i think the microfiber thing in this brush in this sponge is making it do all the job because you can really see that it's not taken away at all from the product. It's just everything stays in place. This is so nice. Wow. Wow. All I can say is wow. Whoa. I like this. I like this sponge. If it looks like I put so much product on my face, it's just because it's not as absorbing, you know. I should use less product now, now that I know that the sponge is not taken away from my makeup. It's not absorbing the product, if you know what I mean. Now I feel like I'm using too much product. But then it, it still balances out because now I know that I can use less product and I can see what I'm putting on my face. Unlike using too much product and the sponge is just 
grabbing on it you know what i mean so now i feel i can see the difference thank you so much journal sponge So guys, here we go. This is a finished look. I hope you guys did um, like this video. I hope um, you're going to plan to try some of these products that I use in this video. Like seriously, I do really like um, this sponge. Just the fact that it doesn't um, absorb your your makeup product is a very, very, very good thing because you know you're not losing or you're not wasting your um, your product. And then this um, this um, this primer, I really do like it. Like I said, I used it before, and it really allowed my makeup stay the whole day. Like I had my makeup from like six in the morning to almost twelve midnight. That's like more than twelve good hours because I was just so busy and I was just so out there. But it really did allow my makeup last a long time. About the oily part, it doesn't really control oil because, like it says, it's hydro and it gives you that air flush, um, the air blush effect, and it also um. It also allows your makeup to last all day, but it doesn't stop your oil from coming out, you know. So just know, just have that in mind. So if you're buying this, it just helps your makeup to last all day, but it doesn't keep down the oil, it doesn't put down the oil. So just have that in mind. I hope you guys like this product. Let me know if you've tried any of this product. If, leave a comment for me in the comment section below. Let me know if you tried it and how they did apply. I really need to know what your thoughts are about this particular product. If you've tried this sponge, let me know. This is definitely going to be one of my best, um, this is going to be one of my go-to sponges because I just like the fact that I'm not wasting my product. Like seriously, I mean, makeup is expensive. Foundations are expensive, concealers are expensive. You don't want to be wasting your product or you have something that's just absorbing the whole product and you just have to keep applying and applying. So I really do like this sponge. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. Thank you. Take good care of yourself until then. Remember that you are the original. There is no counterfeit, there is no photocopy of you, but you are just so unique. Thank you for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Until then, stay blessed and peace out.